welcome back again to my youtube channel so this video i'm going to be showing you how to make applications for english taught courses at the university of turin torino here in italy for this academic session of 2025-2026 i'll also be showing you scholarship available to international students tuition fee application fee so just follow this video through thank you and please don't forget to like this video don't forget to share and subscribe to this youtube channel if you have not thank you as usual, you go on Google type University of Turin. So this is it here. So I'm going to be showing you two methods. You see, when you open the on Google, you show apply online. It will cost come here straight. You understand? I mean, just follow the clicking. Now, in case you also do not get this page when you open your Google, we are going back now. Now, you click University of Turin. So the page is opened. Now, you go to this side of your... This is right-hand side, yes. The right-hand side, you click info for you see that info for you see what's on that prospective student so you click prospective students this way is longer so if you have it on your google just go through apply online so now we are here we're going to click on apply to unit or just follow the cursor okay so now we'll click and there we are here you see international degree seeking students of which we fall in to this category as nigerians Ghanaians, people coming from other countries so here you see they classified all of them application for non-eu citizens residing abroad that's where nigerians Ghanaians, cameroonians people that don't live in the eu you don't live in italy you don't live in another eu country you live outside the eu so later i'm also going to look at the scholarship but first of all let's go ahead with application for non-eu citizens residing abroad so you see that email address there that is the email address for international students you can email them if you have any questions to ask them don't just worry they will respond to you okay a lot of students don't like sending emails i don't know why <laughs> so now we are here on this portal you see the application is open academic year 2025 2026 so we are going to click on that application on apply. You need to check the dates. So that talk test, term test, is for people who will be going for BSc, bachelor's degree. But currently, bachelor's degree is not even open. They will open in February. Yeah, February next year. So I'm just trying to show you a few things at this place. So let's go back to application on apply unit all. so you see the application has started today 26 to end in january 30th for next year that's for postgraduate programs for master degree programs then application for the graduate and five to six years postgraduate degree courses will start next year february and it will end the 30th of april so you can click there to go ahead the application or you can go back up <laughs> so we are here now like i always do i'll ask you to filter to make your search very easy for you so that place i'm showing you there is nigeria because i already put my citizen as a nigerian so here if you are Ghanaian, check for Ghanaian. if you are cameroonian Kenyan, just click there and you put in your country and then i think they programmed the page so that it will open up for each country so here, we're going to do a filter, you see. We're going to select all, select all, academic year. So this filter helps you to remove courses you're not interested in, remove the things that you're not interested in. So here, we're going to be removing distance learning and then e-learning. We're going to leave only full-time. So that all the programs you bring out for us now will not be based on full-time. Italian, no. Combined Italian, English. Combined English, Italian, no. So we're going to leave it for only English because that's our interest. So go find programs. So you see all these programs here, they're all in English language. You see this first one now is a bachelor's degree program. The application is not yet opened. That's another bachelor's degree program. You see the application is not opened. As medicine and surgery, the application is not opened. So
So from here downwards, these are all master degree programs available in English language that is open for application. They started today. So that's session fee 2800. Relax. I know your mind is off like, hey, it's big. Oh. Yes, but that's a range. Okay, that's not like the tuition fee you're going to be paying per se. I want to push also know that as Nigerians, we always get reduction. As we always, we always get a reduction. Not just Nigerians, most people from African countries and some other countries are considered developing countries always get reduction in their fee when applying to internal universities. Anyway, we we'll also see that as we go on on the video, what is the actual school fees for people coming from Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, and other countries? So here I was just trying to show you all the courses available in English language. We have quite a lot of courses available anyway. So we're going to be using economics as an example, just to show you how the application would go. So we clicked more information. Let's just see what it requires. So please guys, it's very important at this point, make sure you read the requirements. It's very, very important. Go through this part, this page, if I say Italian, go through this page, read the requirements. You see you, it's a two years program in English language. I already explained that tuition fee, of which I will also explain as we go further. First installment fee. You see the range is 156 to 2,800 2, euros. That's the range. So meaning you can also be paying less than 2,800, but the least you pay is 156 euros. So here is very important. You see, we also have, you see, it shows that eligible for reduction of tuition fee. They also exemptions the, the application fee is 60 euro one time payment. So you just read through, read through, read through. Here is very important to read all of these requirements. See, so we have only 50 available places for non European applicants. So I know a lot of you, when you see, oh, you need a IATS or you need a language degree course, but always remember that when you actually read through that English requirement, you see that if your program has been in English. You can actually submit an English proficiency letter from your university signed by the register stating that you did your B your BSc program in English language. So here you also need a motivation letter. So please take your time to read the requirements and be sure that you meet the requirement and you can make an application. So you see there are two entry qualifications here. So the first one is they put up a list of Maybe schools you must have graduated from good schools of um, business, I think, of economics. Uh -huh. Then why the other one? So if you graduate from one of those schools, you are good to go. Or you see the second one when he says final grade greater or equal to 9 over 10. Or for, nine, for Italian grading system, 99 over 110. Now, if you look at the end of your transcript, most you always find that um, final grade at the end. So look very carefully. If you know you do not meet this, don't bother applying. Okay, so you do not waste your application fee. So you click on that apply now. So it takes you to this page. Say I am a new applicant. So if you've never applied to University of Turin, you 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 fall into this category. So here you're gonna put in your email address and then you click register. So here they're gonna send you a link to your email. And then you just continue from there and then you click it and follow the instruction and then you'll be able to set your email address and you will be able to set your password for that particular email. So I don't have my email account logged into my computer, so I'm just going to show you what next.
so you have my have your name my email put in your phone number Okay, I decided to make a little explanation here. You see those places with the red asterisk? Those places are compulsory to fill. You must fill in what is needed there. Then the one without red asterisk is not mandatory. So you see this motivation letter? You have to type in your motivation letter here by yourself. So we are going to be looking at the scholarships available for international students. Please take your time to read here to know the one that applies to you. There are some of them that applies to refugee pe people who are on, who has refugee passport. There are some of them who apply to people with international protection. So make sure you go through it and see the one that meets your requirement as an applicant. Also note, like you can see here, this one is for the academic year of 2024-2025, meaning the one for this academic session is not, but most times it's always the same thing. So you can just use this one to know what it's going to be like for this academic section. Now we are going to be looking at the tuition fee. So I'm going to explain something here. You see reduction based on GDP per capita PP of the country of residence. Very important, based on country of residence. So you see tuition fee sometimes, it's not just everybody who pay the same thing, no. There's a payment accredited to people from a kind of country based on your GDP. So they actually did a, um, created a file, PDF file, where we will see as we go on on this page. When you click the file to download and then you see how much you'll be paying based on the country you're coming from and they also put the gdp there so they've assigned gdp to every country you understand me so please make sure you download this file this one called contribution and tuition fees regulation now very soon my cursor will go there make sure you download the file and read it very well and you see where your country fall into there's a li all the countries that's listed there also added to the gdp and then you will see the amount say three um three rows with columns so this is the file actually so here i'm just going to show you what some countries will pay for example cameroon and nigeria so they have a full list let me just go directly to the list of the countries and how much each country will be paying based on their gdp Okay, now, so this is the page. So you see countries listed here. You see the GDP per capita, PP, and full comprehensive contribution. So you see this full comprehensive contribution is what you'll be paying if you are from 
Afghanistan, say Afghanistan. If you are from, or this is it. The one on this right hand side is what you'll be paying as your tuition fee, more like a contribution. Yes, that is what it is. So the list, the full list is here. You see all the countries are here. So Cameroon, for example, you are Cameroonian. You see what your GDP is and see how much you'll be paying. 300 euros. That's what you'll be paying. Outside the 156 euros, that is first installment payment. So go, go down. Yeah, I was just trying to also show you for Nigeria. Okay, now for Nigerians, you see our GDP 5,546. That's what they allocated to us. <laughs> Then what you'll be paying is 300 euros. So this is actually what it is as regards tuition fee. You see, it varies. You see, Norway, 1,000, because those ones, they are very rich countries. You see, Netherlands, 1,000. So your tuition fee is allocated to you based on your GDP of your country. So that's it, guys. So please know that this one was for last year, but most times it's always... It's mostly the same thing. Even if there's a change or increment, it's just a little more. So take your time to read this page. Look at how it went last year for first installment, the deadlines and everything. Anyway, once you get your admission, your school will always send you an email to keep you updated as to um, what and what is next. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not liked this video, please like this video. Help me share this video. Help me subscribe to this YouTube channel and um, turn on your notification. Press the bell so when I post videos, you'll be the first to know. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you in another video. Bye. As for those of you who will be applying, I wish you the very best. Good luck. Don't forget that if you have questions, you can always send me. A, you can drop it in the comment section. I also have a, YouTube, um, a Telegram paid group for paid subscribers. Where you get to ask me any questions, I get to give you direction and everything. It's for, if it's for a particular amount. So if you're interested, you can also drop it in the comment section that, oh, I'm interested in your Telegram group. And once you make payment, I will add you. Bye, guys.